one second. One moment, though. Here we go. <clears throat> Are you for real? What up, what up, what up? Jonathan, how you doing? Hope you're having a great quarantine Tuesday. We're quarantined and we're gonna make a follow-up call with the potential seller. We're about to make a follow-up call at 8.30 at night. I just text them, say, can I call you within the next 10 minutes? And my 10 minutes is almost up. I'm taking too long setting up this jump. <clears throat> I don't even know if it's going to be a deal or not. I know All I know about this deal for right now is that it was a... Um, what the hell is going on with my internet over here? Turn that off. How about that? Uh, all I know about this deal for right now is that it was a failed MLS listing. It was on the MLS the last year, the end of last year. They took it off about, um, matter of fact, I can just look on here and see instead of trying to remember. It says it looked like it was listed from August of 2019 up to December, right before Christmas, and they shut it off. They were asking 1045, 104,500, up in a 63137 area code or zip code called an area code and so I'm wondering uh, I'm thinking the price was too high maybe that's the reason why I didn't sell I'm not sure how am I I'm okay thanks for asking Jonathan I appreciate you so yeah I'm about to call this lady back she spoke to my assistant and uh, they want to sell she's not the actual owner on record when I just looked it up it's somebody else's name on her her name is Jane but the owner name is Joshua so we're going to see if Jane is the connection to Joshua or what's her connection with him or what. Because like I said, she spoke to my assistant earlier. Actually, they spoke on the 18th and they said they wanted to uh, sell the property. In fact, I'm going to let you hear part of the phone call. Read any updates on the house? Oh, let me Purchaser? go back. Yes. And are you, a, are you a real estate agent? Yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to call you right Okay. Do you want I don't really want to go through the whole call, but let me see. Coming up with a good price because at this point he just really because he lives in Florida and he's just okay. interested in just getting rid of it. How did you get his number? Oh, uh, I believe we actually spoke to him um, a few yeah. months okay. ago. Can I ask for the address of the house just for me to double check sure. it here? So yeah, so that's that there. So basically, they have the house listed. And they're ready. What time are you ending calls? I usually don't call this late. This is pretty late, but I just text her. I just got the message from my virtual assistant saying that she called us back because for some reason it didn't go through the uh, CRM like we normally do. So I'm going to call her back now because I just text her. She said, yeah, give a call. I say, let's see if we can do it. I'm trying to start this IG stream, but it's doing some weird stuff. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm trying to do too many things at once. Multi-streaming. So if this video provides you any type of value, any type of knowledge, make sure to give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and I don't guess you can share, but if you watch the replay, maybe you can. Tag a buddy, tag a friend, tag your mama, tag your daddy, tag somebody and make them happy. Chris Jackson, where you get that American from? That what? Let me see, what are you saying here? Where you get that American from? What are you talking about? American what? Um, so yeah, I normally don't call this late. I normally don't, I didn't even realize it was this late because I just came back from looking at a house that I couldn't get into. So that's a, that's a no, another story. All right, enough of that. Let's get this lady on the phone, Miss Jane. Let's see what she's talking about. Since my phone or my uh, stream over here is acting weird on IG, I was trying to double stream, but I guess I'm not doing it today. I ain't good enough. I thought I was good, but I ain't good as I thought I was. Uh, where'd she go here? Boom. Let's give Jane a call. Please press one to connect to three one four.
Oh, she's an agent. She's with Caldwell Banker. Oh, now I see how she's connected. Matter of fact, I think it said it on the listing right here. Let me go back. That's how she's connected with this. Oh, makes a difference. Who was it listed by? Oh, why didn't I know that? I was wondering how is Jane connected to the property? So that means she's going to be one of the real estate commission. God dang it, it's always something, ain't it? Oh, well, let's get him a commission. Get him a commission anyway. Now, why she didn't answer, I'm not sure. So I'm dealing with an agent. Oh, y'all didn't tell me that. I guess it's a good thing when you call back, you can kind of figure out what the heck is really going on. I'll give her a couple minutes and call again. What's wrong with my dang old IG thing? Let me restart my whole phone over here because this is getting weird. Restart. Whole phone acting weird. So I hope you're all having yourselves a great day up in the quarantine house. You know, we on lock, lock, lock down here in St. Louis. I look short. No, no, let me get tall. Let me be tall to y'all. Come on, get big. Get big, swole up. But um, I'm about to call this lady back. So I guess she was the agent on the property. That must have been her connection. Because I'm wondering, like, why did I look it up and it say somebody else's name, but I'm talking to Jane? Oh, well, if Jane can make things work, we'll do it. But if you listen to the call she just did, let me go back to it here. She says something about... In Florida, and he just okay. took it off. And he had it listed, but then we took it off. And then somebody was going to buy it, but then that fell through. But okay. I'm trying to find, we're coming up with a new price. Because mm -hmm. at this point, he just really, because he lives in Florida, and he's just okay. interested in just getting rid of it. How did you get his number? Because we call oh, like I that, because I Googled you. That's how we got your number. No. <laughs> so I guess that's how she wondering. She's the agent wonder how'd you get his number to call the actual owner? And because he came up on a failed listing. So let's try to get this guy back on the phone again, or lady on the phone again. Now, why she didn't answer, I don't know, because I just texted her about a few minutes ago, and she said, yeah, go ahead and give a call. Sure. So let's try again. Round three, fight. Is this the house you were just looking at on IG? Yeah. No, that's a different house. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's the same house. The same house I was looking at on IG. Exactly. This is the same house. But IG kicked me off. Let me see if I can put it back on. I don't know. I guess she don't want to talk to me no more. She didn't gave up. See, I can't even share my screen and stuff on here. That's why I don't know about this thing. That's why I just do my other thing. Chris Monroe just saw you on Max Maxwell's YouTube with the goat Tony Robinson. Look at you. You everywhere. You all over the place. How you on every stream? There's so many streams going on right now. It ain't even funny. Let me see. I think there was another couple of people I need to follow up with. Let me see if I can uh, reach one of them too. But since I got you on here. Dang, I got so many windows open, I can't even see. Um, let's see here. And that. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, here we go. So I got another person in here. I'm going to text him and see if I can uh, give him a call. Another house while we're waiting on that house, even though it's kind of late. It's 8.42 in the p.m. Central Standard Time. Let me see. Who is this? Oh, we got a couple of deals in here. Where is this at? Hazelwood? Okay, we got three leads came in today. Y'all didn't tell me we had multiple leads coming in on one day, on a quarantine day. Good job, y'all. So that's why you got to have a good team out here working for you, helping you bring in leads. You got to get somebody to bring you in. You want me to call her? You going to call on a three-way, on a, another phone number? I got other phone numbers I can reach her if I had to, but I don't see any reason for her to, to dodge me out. But I got another lead right here that came in three hours ago, it says. Brandon up in Hazelwood. Looks like it's a five bedroom, one and a half bath. Damn, that's a big house. They don't know how much repairs. He just said the tenants want to keep, the tenants keep it in good shape. Uh, let me see. Is there tenants in it? Yep, there's tenants in here. Rented. So it's an owner or a rented property. Looks like a somewhat turnkey property. Um, looks like it doesn't need many repairs. Don't look like it need any repairs. 
It's an investment property. Uh, there is a mortgage. Look like they owe about forty-eight thousand on it. Uh, how much are you looking to get for your house? The owner said the price would be whatever is on the MLS listing. I think eighty thousand. I guess this is an MLS listing. I don't know. It's got a lot of stuff in here. Um, they want to sell anytime. They would not consider terms. They want all cash, and this came off a cold call, off of an MLS failed listing. Okay, so this is where it came from. A MLS fail listing so let me pull this property up real quick let me see what's going on with this before I try to call this guy that's the only thing about trying to call people I kind of gotta I want to kind of have a little knowledge about the property so that you're prepared you're not just going into something unknown because I, I mean I want to go in having some preset questions that's tailored specifically for the deal that I'm looking at so this particular deal here the Zestimate is 82,000 and you know what a Zestimate is as an estimate with a Z in front of it uh, let's see here. It looks like this was a listed property from July of last year to December. They had it listed for eighty thousand, and it did not sell. So eighty thousand, I guess, is what they want for it. And it's a turnkey property. Um, I'm gonna text this owner right now, see if I can call him within the next ten minutes. That's usually the next step once we uh, find out if this someone I want to talk to. Five bedroom, two bath. How's it got five bedrooms and two baths and it's only a thousand square feet? Must be some baby bedrooms. Baby bedrooms. Uh, look like a nice house. I wish I could show it to you. I should just end this stream and start up another stream where I can share my screen and stuff. Because I don't like using it. This is streaming straight into the Facebook group instead of going through the other system that I use where I can do all this other stuff. This one here is just real plain Jane. All I can do is do this and let you see my name. You like that, Ryan? I do them all the time. All right, let me see here. Um, so yeah, Central Air, thousand square feet. And it's a little bitty house up in Hazelwood. How is it five bedrooms? Though? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Maybe they got a finished basement or something. It's a full basement. It doesn't say if it's a walkout or what. Um, but it looked like they owe about forty-eight thousand on it. And I don't know why they're selling either. It's a couple of questions I don't have on here. A couple of answers that I'm going to have to ask myself since it didn't come through. So let me get another sheet ready. It's always good to be prepared. So I have my little cheat sheet right next to me ready to go when I talk to these people. So I kind of have an idea of what I want to ask them. And so like I said, this is up in Hazelwood. Hazel Hood, North County, St. Louis. North County is where you at. Uh, let's see here and it's kind of late I hope they say I can call them as late so yeah let me text them first that's what I said I was gonna do text them and see if, if I can call them within the next 10 minutes text first I don't know why that other lady won't answer the phone that's weird unless I was dialing the wrong number or something I dialed the right number it looks like okay so text message from the pretty house line which phone number I'm gonna call or text from that one. Hi, Brandon. You spoke to my assistant earlier today about your house. Hey, I can't even type. Your house. Can I call you with in the next 10 minutes question mark Chris so there you go hi Brandon you spoke to my assistant earlier today about your house can I call you within the next 10 minutes Chris real simple it's always good to do that just to let them know that you're gonna be calling them so that you, they have your full and undivided attention what's up Kiva what's up what's up what's up Damien ace down in ATL doing it well good to see you bro what's up Paul what's up Chris Johnson we got Chris Jackson, Chris Johnson, and Chris Monroe, the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke. So we all over the place, all the Chris's. So I'm going to see if I can get this uh, person on the phone here or what. If he texts me back, Mr. Brandon. Matter of fact, he only had a two-minute phone call. Why was this call so short? Or maybe he had two calls. Let me see if I can listen in on the call that he had before he texts me back. To see what the VA said, if she handled the call bad, because we're always training. Even though you know, 
They meet, they do okay getting the information, but I want them to always get better. I want them to get gooder and gooder. That's what I tell all you that be asking. Yeah, I need to get a VA. I need a virtual assistant. You're going to take the time to train them to make them great. You're going to take time to let them know how to do this business, how to speak to sellers, how to speak to buyers, how to market to attract motivated sellers and buyers, how to market the deal when you got it under contract. If you're doing a wholesale deal, how to do this business, you got to take that time to train them up to take your place. If you want them to take your place. Let's see here if my connection is better on IG. I don't know if Brandon gonna call back. He maybe I don't think he wanna talk this late. It's like nine o'clock almost, eight forty nine in the PM. And my IG is acting real weird. It's not letting me connect anymore. I think I broke it. I guess it's too many people streaming on Instagram Live right now. Uh, so I'm waiting on Brandon to call back. Who is this? Somebody just text me just now. Um, somebody looking to buy some property. They're like a, either a wholesaler or somebody just texted me. They're asking me if I can add them to a buyer's list. They're looking to buy 200 doors this year. Ooh, a potential buyer. You want to give him a call or try to call his other seller? Because I don't know what's going on here. I don't even know why they texting me this late. They worse than me. Everybody's still working late. They ain't got to go to work. So they say, well, we're going to work this game, work this real estate game. <laughs> he say, I don't even know who this is. He say his name is Joel. I was reaching out to see if you're still wholesaling. You're looking for multifamilies. Let's see. I guess I can call him back if I'm waiting on this other guy. Or this other girl. Waiting on people. Hurry up and wait. That's no fun. If, if you're working on some deal or something, put your questions in if you want. I can see if I can help you out and provide you value while we waiting for this guy. Or the girl that didn't answer earlier. Uh, let's see here. Don't forget, we'll be on streaming live this Monday night with Real Estate Diddy. I got my bro Real Estate Diddy coming on March the 30th, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. Streaming live right here in the Woke Real Estate Investors Group. Streaming live on YouTube. Streaming live on Facebook and on Periscope at Chris Monroe Show. Um, I don't know what this guy's talking about. Why did he just text me that? Let me call him back while I'm waiting on the other girl. Let's call this person that's looking for a wholesale deal. See what he's talking about. Let's take his temperature. See if he's a real buyer. Let's screen a buyer, potential buyer. See if he answers this phone. Please press one to connect to Let's screen a potential buyer. Retire. Hi, Joel. This is Chris. You had uh, just texted me in regards to uh, looking for some property. Yeah, okay. Hey, Chris. How are you? Pretty good. Did I catch you at a good time? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just now getting back to the house and responding to a text message, obviously. <laughs> oh, there you go. You have it. Uh, so don't, yeah, don't, don't, no, don't, don't, don't tell me you're out here running around and we're supposed to be on lockdown. <laughs> That's right. We're going to keep on trucking. <laughs> he said he wants the country to be back up for business by Easter, right? Yeah. So I hope it all works out some way or another. So you say you're looking to buy 200 doors this year, huh? So yeah, I'm uh, Chris Monroe.
Yeah, that's one of our business. Yeah, this is our specific number for um, wholesale deals, really. We got about 30 numbers, as, as everybody does in the business, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this is the wholesale line, yeah. Whoever's dealing with the uh, wholesale properties is be on this line, whether it's me or somebody else. Hopefully somebody else this year, if we can hurry up and hire some more people, right? <laughs> yeah, man, you know, I'll tell you what, that, a good acquisition guy is hard to come by. Exactly. I'm about to train these virtual assistants up to get them good if I can do it. Oh, yeah, I'm on their email list. Um, yeah, so I was a partner with them for, uh, for quite some time, and uh, we did a good amount of deals together, but um, well, it was really always passionate about the buying holds, and so started you know, raising capital and, and sourcing some deals, and, and basically uh, last year I started buying uh, a good amount of uh, multifamily deals that came down our pipeline through our marketing efforts, and So you broke off from core, you're doing your own thing now? Exactly. Okay, nothing wrong with that. So you gotta, sometimes that's what it takes to be successful. Sometimes, you know, other stuff can slow you up or, you know, prevent your success. You never know. Yes. Yeah, so basically what I do, uh, we do some wholesaling. We also, we, I actually specialize in creative deals, you know, subject to wraparound mortgages, lease options, the creative side that a lot of wholesalers may pass on because they may, may not be able to see the opportunity in it. So a lot of times we take over uh, payments on properties and things like that, say if it's over leveraged and we may have to catch a loan up due to, uh, you know, a pre-foreclosure or, you know, having back payments or whatever the situation is. So we try to make it a win-win situation all the way around. So we don't just do wholesaling. A lot of people only can see that tunnel vision one, one thing, but I'm like, no, I'm just trying to find a deal. A deal is a deal, right? Yeah. And so you say you're looking more so for twos and fours. What about single families? Are you doing singles too, or are you only doing twos and fours? Um, yeah, we don't touch any single families. Okay. Um, just because we're our investor group won't. So put you on a preferred list for multifamily. Call you first, right? Thank you. 
Instagram and stuff is, I'm, you know, I'm the owner of the company. Uh, that's the kind of stuff that I'll probably come out and take a look at personally. If it's a two family or a three family or four, um, you know, if it's not me, I'm not, it's not like a, it's not like I, I don't want to. It's just generally I try to fill my days looking at some beer stuff. But, but if I have time, I prefer to go on every single appointment I can. I would love to, in a perfect world, wake up and half my day be looking at properties and half my day be talking to investors and doing nothing else and talking to guys like yourself. So, uh, oh, cool. Yeah, I, you know, send us wherever you got and, and we will get there that same day. And generally, if it's a smaller property, make it offer on the spot if we can see all the units. Okay, and is this only in St. Louis or are you looking to buy in other markets as well? Yeah, and I and I was actually think uh, yeah, and I was actually thinking nationwide because you know I know people in every state pretty much doing deals and stuff. So you know I'm pretty connected with the people in different markets, Alabama, Texas, all around. You know, so Florida. So that's why I just wanted to check and see if, if you were looking at other markets as well. That's what I was going to ask you too. How, how are you? Yeah. So how are you going to see uh, properties, uh, multifamilies now with the coronavirus stuff? How are you seeing inside the units? So do you prefer the properties to be vacant, occupied, or does it not matter, or just as long as it makes sense?
right, right. Uh, That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Typically, yeah. Typically, when we send a deal out, yeah. Typically, when we send a deal out, we try to send you pretty much all the information that you could ever want. You know, right up front, so that you can have it and you can analyze it and all of that, even before you go see it, and then you can go see it and do whatever you want. And then we even do pictures and walkthrough videos as well if we can do it, depending on the situation. You know, so. We try to make it as uh, easy as possible for you because we sell to a lot of out-of-town investors because you know everybody in St. Louis cheap, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we send out e we send out emails and texts when deals come up. So like I said, we're running more than one business here. So we do a pretty house business, like the term stuff, houses that don't need anything. You can just move right in it, or it might be a tenant in there, or a tenant buyer already installed into a property, or we do wholesale deals. That's the other side, the ugly house business, housing need work stuff like that. So we're running basically two businesses, two operations. Uh, that's just for the cash deals. That's just for the wholesale properties that are, you know, the ugly house business. For the pretty house deals, you might want to check a different site. I can send that to you. It's called CashLeasePurchase.com. That's a different site for the terms deals. Okay, one more time. I'm actually, I'm actually got my internet open. What is it? CashLeasePurchase.com. Yeah, no, and and they, and they're marketed as uh, deals for people to move into. However, an investor could buy them just as easily. You know, just you just have to change up a few things. And, and like I said, that's all tailored to the bot to an end buyer that's moving into it. However, those properties still can be sold to investors if that makes sense. Perfect. So yeah, that'll work. And uh, so yeah, if you shoot me a text with your email address on it, I'll add you to our list and you'll be notified as deals pop up because I got callers over in the Philippines calling seven days a week and uh, bringing in leads all the time. We got three leads came in today. I haven't even spoke to these people yet. So I just have to follow up with them, see what the deal is, see if we can work a deal on them, you know. No, no, this is just a, uh, like I said, this is a business line. This is just a wholesale line. It's a call rail number. Your favorite company making all the money. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Yeah. So, okay, well, I'll 
Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, talk to you. Bye-bye. Right, He's a talker. He need to be on with some sellers doing that much talking. Woo! What do y'all think about that call with a potential buyer that's going to be buying property so-called in the future? Have you ever done a deal with core, core properties? I have not done a deal. I have not done a deal with core properties. Have you, uh, Chris? I have went to one of their meetings over in Sular one time. Few about ooh, almost six months ago, a little while back last year. I'm mean, they're pretty decent, you know. They seem okay to me, but I've never bought a deal because you know, when I do the numbers, I'm like, I can't touch it at that number. I need it below that number. You know, we always want it cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. I'm just as cheap as everybody else in St. Louis. <laughs> I've been spoiled on getting them cheap. That ain't cheap enough. Get it a little bit cheaper. You know how it is. A little bit cheaper. Have you done a deal with them, uh, Chris? I have not though. What's up, John Lewis? What's up, Asia? What's up, Nina Mayfield Garner out in California? Mary Brooks, where you been hiding? George, what's up, bro? Let's see, y'all got everybody in here. What y'all doing up this late? Y'all supposed to be in the house. Oh, uh, y'all are in the house. That's why y'all watching me. <laughs> so, any other questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Uh, let's see here. So he just texts from his real number. So let's see here. I'm gonna I'm gonna save his number. And he told me he's using a call rail number as well. He know call rail don't take pictures. Why would he send me a picture thing? I mean, they need to upgrade that. All the money they making. Let's see here. Uh, I have I know Robert directly. Oh, okay. So you've done deals with him. Cool, cool. That's what I'm talking about. Do deals. You know, that's what it's all about. Can you move a deal? I got two deals under contract right now. I got, let's see. Actually, I got more than two deals under contract. Two cash deals under contract right now. Actually, I lied. Three deals. One's in escrow. Waiting on the close. I don't know what the heck's taking them so long. Hope we close before the coronavirus mess up some money. Uh, one deal there in escrow. I got two other cash deals. One in page deal and one in the city. Hit me up if you're looking to buy a property here in St. Louis. I got something for you. And the other deals I got are just terms deals where we're buying a house either subject to, well, yeah, subject to, or on a wrap. That's the only other way to buy them, in my mind. The only way to buy them. Buy them with financing in place. Let's see what we got here. Just go direct to the fund they gonna sell it to. Exactly. You're right, Chris. Cut the middleman out. Why Why let the middleman middleman you when you can middleman them? Who the best middleman in the middleman village? Uh, I'm soaking up the jacuzzi with self-care. Really, Nina? You got the jacuzzi bubbles bubbling? I'm jealous. I'm out here in the St. Louis. We got rainy weather today. I had to go to a house that couldn't even get into the house because for some reason they changed the code or something on the thing. I don't know what that's about. I might have to put a memorandum on somebody. I'll be seeing what's going on with that. I don't know. Seller acting kind of weird. So we finna see how that go. Let me see. Did they text me back? Nope. None of them people text back. Um... But yeah, that's what's going on in the real estate world of Chris Monroe at the moment. But I do got three leads that came in today and I haven't spoke to none of them. One of them in Hazelwood. One of them in, let's see here. Let me pull up my podio system. One in Hazelwood, one in U City. That's the one that John referred. Thanks for that referral, John. We can work on something out with him. And another one in St. Charles. What is this? St. Charles property. I ain't see that. St. Charles, what's going on out there? Four bedroom, one and a half bath, no repairs needed. Uh, let's see here. Finished basement, not a walkout basement. Investment property, not sure if he wants to sell it, but he's open to offers. Oh, one of them type. Oh, man, they ain't got no motivation. Just want an offer. Uh, they, they're looking for a cash offer. And they have, let's see here. Is there tenants in this property? Let me scroll back up. Uh, rented on a lease. So yeah, that's a tenant occupied property in St. Charles. So we got three leads came in today. St. Charles, Hazelwood, and what was the third one? University City. U City? 
And I see another property in here. Where is this at? 63134. What's that? Is that, um, what is 63134? Berkeley? I don't even like buying in Berkeley. If that's Berkeley. Um, oh, I might have missed this guy. Because this was a few days ago and I haven't spoke to him yet. That's not good when you haven't spoke to a person. Let me see if they sold their house yet. Google search. Let's see, son. Did they sell already? It's only been, what, eight days? Why haven't I spoke to this guy in eight days? It looked like, I, oh, I remember. I was trying to call him. They never did answer. So they might have got the deal figured out. Oh, man. Definitely got to get that guy back on the phone. Did I ever text this person? Well, it's kind of late to text them now. So I ain't going to text nobody this time of night. It's after 9.15. So let's see here. That's awesome. Thank you, Nina. Ooh, -wee. that's right. It's supposed to be nice tomorrow. It's supposed to be nice, but you better not be out there in it, Diane, DJ. You're not supposed to be out there in that stuff. You're supposed to stay in the house and self isolate, self quarantine, practice social uh, distancing, or whatever the other stuff they call it. Lock yourself in the house. Lockdown, that's what I call it. Uh, where did you get that microphone? that you got on the picture what microphone on what picture you can see that it's the same microphone right here i think i got it off amazon a while back it didn't cost that much uh maybe you're talking to somebody else my bad that ain't even for me uh the one you went to the other day which one chris i don't know which one which the one i went to the other day oh yeah that guy ended up doing something different i think somebody sniped me on that deal you never know with this stuff that's why you really got to be careful putting it out on social media. But you never know. Somebody sniped me, I think. But he got another property. Oh, that's another lead I got. So I got like four leads I'm working on right now. I forgot. He texted me and said he got another house he wants to sell. And I never did get back with that guy. Let me see here. He said he got a house. Let's see. Where this house at? I got so many text messages in here. Good night. Him. So he got a house in Hazelwood as well. That's a 3-2. See, like I said, I wish I could show you the pictures and stuff of this stuff, but I can't show you because I don't have it on the other streaming service where I can share my screen. Is there a share screen feature on this? Nope, not on this Facebook because I'm streaming straight from Facebook. LOL, LOL, that's right. Uh, self going to appointments and taking pictures with a mask on and sanitizer. I know that's right, DJ. Get them deals. The one on the slab. Yeah, that one over there in uh, Spanish Lake, that guy ended up doing something else. But he texted me back saying that, yeah, he got another house he would like to sell me. And he said he would take terms. Now, I don't know what the terms are yet. Matter of fact, can I call him? Is it too late to call him? Um, too late. I ain't going to text him this late. I should have been on this thing about 7 o'clock tonight. I'll try to call him tomorrow. And I might go live tomorrow and call some people back because I got a bunch of callbacks to do. Should I go live and do the callbacks or just let y'all hear about it later? Tell me. Put in a three for yes and a one for no. Should I go live for all these follow-ups I got tomorrow? Or should I say, nah, I'll just go ahead and call them on my own time? Because, you know, y'all get me motivated. Make me call more people, do more stuff. Because I'm pretty lazy, by the way. Y'all may not know it or not. I don't work that much. I only work about five to ten hours a week. Is that a lot? That's kind of cheating. So a three for yes if you want me to come on live tomorrow when I do my follow-ups. Or a one for no. Let me know. Drop it in the comments. What's up, Ernesto, over in Illinois? What's up, Amberly? We ready for those rent payments to come in. What I got rent in, what, four days? Dang, time going fast. What's that, three days in a wake up? My rents are due on the 28th and late on the 1st. Now, I haven't heard anything back from any tenant buyers saying anything about them being late or anything, but uh, we about to find out. Hopefully, they all pay, and if they don't, we got to adjust fire. I was going to make a little letter and send it out to them and everything. I think I am going to write up a little letter and email all my tenant buyers and say, I understand it's a bad thing and all that, but I want, I want to work with you guys and we want to be conscious of what's going on. Let us know. Now, I don't want to say let us know if you got problems. 
Yeah, I guess I could say that, but I don't want to open the door to say, oh, yeah, let's let you skip a payment. No, you ain't skipping no payment, baby. I want my full rent. I want my twelve fifty. I want my twelve hundred. I want my seven fifty. I want my eight fifty. And I want my eight seventy five. And I want my what my other property pay nine fifty and my other nine fifty. I want all of them, so I can pay those mortgages and move on, or pay those sellers that we got deals under contract with. So hopefully it doesn't mess up stuff. Same here, Chris. Gotta crunch the numbers first and put it in paper and go down and go down a list that's right and call back yeah i'm kind of lazy go live homie all right amberly i'll try to i'm gonna go live from the other thing too so that it's not like this so i can share my screen and show you pictures and stuff as we're going through the deals because this here is just looking at my mood you want to look at my mood or you want to look at they mood so any other questions comments concerns before i get up out of here and do some more woke stuff like I said, don't forget, we're going live on Monday night, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. I got my bro, Real Estate Diddy, coming on. He's going to drop some jewels on, on you, help you through this coronavirus, help you close deals, help you learn how to talk to sellers, how to negotiate, how to ask the right questions, how to position yourself. Because if you're out of position, you're, you're messed up. You can't be out of position when you're talking to these sellers. You got to be in the right position and ask the right questions to open up that pain point, identify that pain point, and soothe that pain point if you can. So if you want to be notified of when we go live for that, all you got to do is text JV to 31996. That'll get you the joint venture agreement and you're notified of when we go live. Text JV to 31996 and we'll see how that goes. Let's see, Angela Long has a question here. Chris, whatever happened with that tenant that was like $3,000 behind and giving little money here and there? So he got a little lucky because the Rona came in and we ain't doing no evictions in St. Louis County right now. So that kind of helped him out. However, he didn't know that. He paid $1,000 last week. He still owed money and his rent coming due in another four days, which is another $7.95, which I didn't mention earlier. Another $7.95. I'd be forgetting because they're all just on autopilot and on this little program I used that I can just go back and check and see who paid or what. Called Cozy.co. Cozy.co to manage those properties and, you know, and I can see who paid and who didn't. Even if they pay another way, I can go in and mark it off within the system so that I can keep track of these people. Because other than that, they might not pay and I don't even realize it. Hey, man, I'm missing a whole rent payment, man. Where my money at, bro? Get my money, bro. Get my cash, yo. Get my money, bro. Come on. Uh, come on. Get my money, bro. Hey. I got to tell Dutch Jackson we got to make that song right there. Get my money, bro. Hey. Get my money, bro. Hey. Got the Rona, yo. Oh. The Rona, yo. Oh. I don't know. That might not even be that good. Got to get with Dutch see if we can make a uh, song out of that. <laughs> yeah, silly. All right. Let's see here. So, yeah, he gave $1,000. That's what he did. And he said he's going to pay some more Friday. So we'll see how they go. He's still late, though, and I can't evict him right now. He don't know it. I just want him to make some payments and catch it up. And I am working with the bank, actually, on that particular property. I contacted them today. So they're working on a forbearance where they're going to let us skip three months payments because it's only like 600 a month on payments on that property, and he's paying 795 So I'm only getting almost 200 bucks of cash flow. So I'm not getting rich on that property or nothing, but what do you know? If they give me three months, no payments, and he still pays, we're good. We'll collect that and pay it on the back end. All right, let's see here. Exactly. That's why I haven't sent anything out yet to the tenants trying to figure out, should I wait to send a letter out early? Well, I mean, could. You know, that's the whole thing. You could send out something just to say we are conscious of what's going on and, uh, you know, pay your rent, basically. Say it in a nice way. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. It, 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 nobody knows at this time because we don't know what the future holds. Even though Donald Trump already said he wants this economy back up and running by Easter. Trump said he wanted it up and running by Easter. And I'm with him on that. Let's get this thing back up and running by Easter. I want my money, man. The best economy. You're going to mess it up. What's up, Justin Holmes, the best videographer, cinematographer in the St. Louis region? I know y'all like that video I put out the other day, that vlog style video that came out. That was done by Justin. Um, so yeah, let's see. Oh man, that's right. <laughs> yeah, he's still in there. I ain't a victim because you know the Rona saved him. The Rona, I mean, he was on perfect time. I mean, I don't know how much he how much better time he could have got. Uh let's see here. Yep. That's gonna do it, y'all. So I'm about to row. Oh, we got another question here. 
the bank will let you do a forbearance on a sub two? Good question, Max. So the question is, the bank will let you do a forbearance on a subject two? Well, it's all about your relationship with that bank. You do the process, whatever they say. So I spoke to the bank and they know I'm just an authorized person on the thing. They know I'm not the borrower because the borrower is deceased. This property, the person who actually is on the loan is dead. He can't speak for himself. However, they know that there is a tenant in there and they know that there is a uh, rent being paid every month and we've been paying it every time. And I just contacted them and said, you know, uh, what options are available on a forbearance? Because the city of St. Louis and county are basically you know stopped due to the coronavirus so the person on the phone said yeah let me see it might be something so let me see what we can do what's the income what's this what's that what's this they asked me some questions basically and they said yeah they're going to put in for the forbearance so i don't know if they're going to approve it however i'm going to try now if it's on a subject two or not it shouldn't really matter because it's still a loan and they still want you to keep paying that loan and they still want to keep collecting that monthly payment each and every month until the end of time. Now they did sell me on a deal of, oh, we can do a uh, loan modification and put you on a 40 year mortgage, but it only takes like $25 off the monthly payment. Why would I extend a loan out to 40 years and only save like 25 bucks a month? Dumb, hell no to the no, no, no. So I decided, no, we're just gonna try to do this forbearance thing and see if we can uh, skip three payments. They said we may qualify for it, so I feel I did the thing and they're gonna put it in through their underwriters or whatever, and they're gonna let us know something, I guess, in a few days. So we're gonna see how we can pull this stunt. Now, I do have a limited power of attorney, so I can sign off on documents when they mail them off to me. So that's very important when you're doing these subject twos and things like that. That's why I tell people to get trained, get you some coaching, coaching, learn the game, from the master teachers out here that's doing these games. So get you a limited power of attorney where you can sign off on the documents in regards to that loans on behalf of the seller. And so uh, we're gonna see how that works. You know, I, I'm, this is all new to me. I'm gonna try and see if they are gonna let me slide right by. Good question though, Matt. I don't know if they're gonna let us do it. That's the real answer. Chris dropping knowledge. That's right, Justin, that's right. I feel you on the evictions. I have a tenant that comes, let's see, I have a tenant that owes me 17,000, but we saved it too because of the virus. Damn, $17,000, oh my God. I'm trying to get that much down on one of these houses if I can get it. If I can get the house under contract for little to nothing down and sell it on a lease option for 20,000 down, that'd be a perfect deal. That'd be better than a wholesale deal, especially if you can get some passive cash flow in the middle of all that. But I hear you, Brandon. Staying woke. <clears throat> Any other questions or anything? I know there's a little delay on this thing because this is Facebook. So like I said, if this video provided you any type of value, any type of knowledge, anything you even accidentally learned something, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share if you care. And catch us right back here live on Monday night or maybe tomorrow. I know you said tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we'll be going live again talking about subject two talking about lease options, talking about wraparound mortgages, talking about land trust, talking about making money during the Rona virus, talking about being quarantined up in your house, talking about not going out your house when you're not supposed to be out your house like DJ doing, going out here seeing properties and doing all this hand sanitizer and all this other type of stuff, talking about making money, even though it ain't even funny. So I hope you all have yourself a great day. Do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Peace in the Middle East.